Hi everyone, welcome to the Lori Whitlock YouTube channel today. I've got an exciting new card style to introduce to you. It is a sliding shadow box card. Take a look at this. When you pull on these two sides, you have this really cool shadow box that slides into place. Isn't that cool? So I've got several Valentine styles and a few other new styles, and I'm sure I will be making more because these are so much fun. So let me show you the other ones that we have already put together. This one's a birthday one, make a wish with a cute little cake. This one's a Valentine Paris style. Isn't that cute? Little Eiffel Tower in there, happy Valentine's Day. Of course you could change the sentiment to something else, happy anniversary, or um, if you're traveling, you could change it to something else. Um, this one is a happy winter, cute little house scene and a tree and the mountains. Aren't these so cool? I just love these. So they're five by seven when they're flat and they fit into a five by seven envelope. And then when you open them up, they expand to be this really cool scene. Love, I love you loads. And there's a cute little truck in there. Love that one. This one is a really cool little flower scene. Oops, that one's hung up a little. There we go. It's a cute little bouquet of flowers. So pretty. And this one is a birthday or a baby card. It's a little uh, baby bassinet rocker bed and a dresser and lamp. Welcome, baby. So cute. So I'm going to show you how to put together. Um, a couple more of these. The one that I have down on the table is a cool, a cool little barn. And we've got a cow and a pig and a chicken. And the little cinnamon says, oink, cluck, moo, happy birthday to you. This would be super awesome for a little, a kid, a little child. So um, this is what the file looks like. You've got this five by seven frame with these two strips on the side. And the first thing you'll need to do is fold those back and glue these glue tabs on the back side. And that's gonna form our little sliding pocket here on the two sides. So let's go ahead and just put some adhesive on that and glue that down. Just make sure you line that corner right up Okay, so now our little frame just has a covering panel here on the front and it's ready to go. This is going to be the back of our card. So we'll just go ahead and set our front and our back off to the side for a minute as well as our sentiment. And you can see on the little um, slider pieces that I've cut um, out like the little head of the cow so you know right where to put him. And you just need to paper piece him and layer him up just like this one. And same with the little chicken. You can see right where the chicken's gonna go. And then just layer that up. And same with the little piggy and the chickies. Just they go right there. So once you have those put together, the next thing you need to deal with is the back piece. And you'll notice the little slits here on the sides. You'll wanna make sure that they're all lined up across the bottom and that they go in towards the center. And that's the way you're gonna lay this out. As far as the glue tabs go, you're gonna lay that one where it folds flat, lays against the table there, and this one comes forward. And this is what's gonna slide in our little frame here in a minute. But basically it needs to fold just like this. Make sure the um, two sides are going the right direction and that the large slits are towards the back of the card. That way when our card opens, I'm gonna take one of these and open it again for you so you can see a little bit better. You can see here from the side that there's the sit slits and they get progressively larger towards the back. Okay, and these little um, sliders slide in from the inside to the outside like that. So that way when it pulls open, it creates the nice square angles here. So this is the piece we're working on right now right in here. And we're just going to connect it to this piece here in the middle. So you can 
You can choose the same color or a different color, whatever you'd like. In this case, I want it to be a blue sky behind my animals. So I'm gonna make this piece blue and I want the barn doors on the front to be red. So I'm just gonna put a strip of adhesive right down on this glue tab. But this piece here could be a pattern paper. It's going to be the background in your card though. So whatever you want that to look like. And then just place that right up and then make sure you get it oriented the right way. Notice how it's longer this direction. So make sure you get it going the way that's exactly the same height as the side pieces. Just make sure that's glued right along that edge. So it should look just like that. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. I'm gonna get adhesive right up to the edge there. So I don't want this coming loose. Just make sure you line that up where it's nice and centered. Okay, and that should come together right here in the middle. And just glue those down nice and tight. Okay, so just so you can kind of see how this is gonna work, you're gonna put your frame on the front and you're gonna just, from the inside, slide these doors through the little frame. And um, let's see here. You might wanna put your little inserts in before you do this, but I wanted to show you how this works real quick. There, maybe if I stand it up, it'll be a little easier really not that hard just get them fed through there and then you'll pull them out and that's going to create your cute little barn front here and when they push in that's going to close the barn doors isn't that cool okay so now we just need to put our little strips in place and put our back on so the back because the strips kind of fall to the bottom you're just going to want to adhere that back where it's just kind of flush with the table so you're gonna have a little bit of a gap up here at the top, but then it's gonna be flush down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna set that aside again for a minute till we get our little inserts put in. So we have our back insert, our little cow, it's the largest one. You're just gonna feed those little ears through and just carefully get that worked where it'll go through that hole. And same thing on the other side. And it might be easier, just go ahead and take this front frame off while you're working so you can get in there a little bit better. But I wanted you to kind of get an idea of how it was all gonna work when we're done. So this is gonna be a lot easier to do it without that in place. And then just work that little ear in there. And then those ears are just tall enough to keep that from sliding out, so that works out great. So then we'll put our little chicken in. And then our little piggy with the chickies. And this one's gonna feel a little tighter because it just doesn't have as much wiggle room up and down, but it'll go in. Okay, so there's our little um, sliders in place. And now we can just, again, put our frame back in place. Just make sure as you're putting that on that you don't get these little tabs hung up with your frame on the front. Okay, so now you can close that card and pull it open and you'll see your cute little barn scene. And you could embellish it a little bit more, it'd be cute with some um, clouds back there or some cloud pattern paper would be darling. Okay, so now we're just going to close our little card up and our back is going to go on and you're going to want to line it up with the front so that your card is a five by seven when you're done and you're just going to adhere it 
across this blue and red area. Don't make, make sure you don't get any adhesive on these little sliding tabs. So you're just going to line this up with the um, white front piece so that it looks like a nice 5 by 7 when you're all done and all lines up together. So now you can just pull your little barn door. Make sure it doesn't get hung on the back here inside of there. Once you get it going, it should work just fine. And there you go. Look how cute that is. If you have a sentiment to put on the card, you can put it on the back. You could even add a little pocket if you wanted to. But that's about how thick it is. It looks really nice. And um, this sentiment that I've given you goes here, but if you wanted to write something like a personal message, you could do that here on the back. Um, I think this would be cute here in the middle. If you, uh, you could apply it here and just attach it to one side, but let me show you when you pull that open, you're going to have it hanging out here a little bit, just like that. So I don't know if you want to do that or not. I think it looks a little bit better, maybe up in the top or the bottom. So I'm just going to put a little adhesive on that. Let's go ahead and adhere it right here, right in the middle. Okay, so there you have it. So fun. Really cute presentation. What a fun card. So let me show you one more card. I don't usually show two, but I thought I would go through this one more time. I've already got this Valentine's um, frame already made. I've just glued those two tabs at the top. And I've got You Are the Greatest. And I've got a little cheese grater here, and I've got the background. I've got a couple more that are going to go in here as well. This one says, um, you whisk me off my feet. And this one says, my heart beats for you. I thought those were really fun for Valentine's. So here's our card base already assembled. And I've already gone ahead and put the back on. So all we need to do at this point is just feed our three little inserts in. So we're going to start with our largest one and put it in the back. And then we're going to put our little grater here in the middle. The one thing I do recommend is using a nice sturdy uh, cardstock, 80 pound or so, for these inserts. And just so it's a nice sturdy project. And you are the greatest. And then all we need to do at this point is put our little frame in place. And you can see how easy that is. There's not any gluing with these little inserts, so it makes them fall into place perfectly and they just slide back and forth as needed. So, so much fun. So I hope you enjoy making these fun cards. Um, if you want to post your creations on the Facebook page, we would love to take a look. And if you have any feedback for me here on the YouTube channel, please feel free to do that. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our fun crafting videos and find out what we're coming out with next. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.